what's good guys today i'm going to show you the 10 best fruits you need to use in pvp you sincerely won't find any fruits better than this but that's my opinion let's get right to it coming at number 10 we have the flame fruit now despite what people say about this fruit it's actually overpowered i've seen people use this fruit in combat and completely wipe out their opponents it's like if rumble had a good walmart version it even has aimbot on some moves which makes it extremely good for long range attacks but just so you know all these perks come from the awakened version as the, the unawakened version is simply unplayable it has a mild stun which is a downside but if you know what you're doing you are basically good to go next up on our list we have the leopard fruit when i first started in blocks fruits this fruit reigned as king i remember wanting to get this fruit so bad but after two years of grinding and finally getting every fruit in the game and finally learning how to combo i can fully say that the leopard isn't entirely overpowered for pvp in fact it's bottom line mid this fruit is just spam and not really spam at its best either most of its moves can be kentrekt and require aim what really carries the leopard fruit is its damage yeah it has massive damage on almost all of its moves and the finger revolver kind of stuns a bit so i guess it deserves to be put on this list our number eight pick is the light fruit now i was really tempted not to put this a bit higher than the next fruit on our list but the current king of blocks fruits does deserve a little bit of respect the light fruit is quite a good fruit for pvp and even better for grinding if you want a fruit to grind with feel free to use the unawakened version but if you actually want a pvp then just like the flame fruit i advise you awaken it the awakened moves are so much better for pvp and significant combos from light players are especially destructive all in all an extremely overpowered fruit for pvp at number seven we have the kitsune fruit this fruit came with update 21 and is truly the definition of disgusting it started out as a concept idea with all the other fruits on the drawing board until finally it got added it quickly replaced leopard as the most expensive thing in the game and the best fruit to do complete brain dead spam with every move is spammable there are basically no drawbacks to this fruit anyone can use this fruit just know where to aim and aim properly i would have put it higher but i genuinely feel that the other fruits are better coming in at number six we have the t-rex fruit this fruit was added in update 21 and quickly became one of the most valued fruits in the game it is the only fruit to possess the melee ability in both the transformed and untransformed state, which is kind of cool. It also has a fury meter that allows the user to transform when fully maxed out. One thing I love about this fruit is its ability to leave prey marks on your opponents that deal tick damage when attacking in a transformed state. It has a similarity to the Venom Fruit as it unleashes a deadly miasma on opponents which immobilizes them and distorts their screen, making it easier to land your attacks. It definitely deserves the number 6 spot. The next fruit on our list is the Spirit Fruit. There is one thing you need to know about this fruit, and that is that it is basically stun itself. All of its moves stun and deal massive damage, and you can summon spirits to help you and enhance your abilities in battle. Some spirits increase your speed and boost your health, while others, mostly the dark ones, do massive damage. Another interesting fact about the spirit fruit is that its V-move alone does the highest damage of any ability in Block's fruit, about 9,800, so it definitely deserves a spot on this list. Our number four fruit is the Doe fruit. I don't really have to say much about this fruit, as you all know what it can do. It is basically the pinnacle of easy PvP with this fruit. All the moves have stun and deal massive damage. I've seen people that only use the moves of this fruit to reach massive heights in PvP. We have the C move that puts them in place for a body shattering combo, and you are basically untouchable when you do the X move in the air. 
I guess the only downside to this fruit would be its melee ability, which is completely mid. Other than that, this fruit is basically given. Coming in at number 3, we have the ice fruit. Now this is one fruit that is very much underrated in Blocks Fruits PvP, despite how overpowered it is. Did you know that this fruit has the most stuns of any fruit in the game, even slightly surpassing Rumble? The reason why this fruit is below here at 3 and not higher is because despite its massive stuns, it lacks mobility. It isn't really fast and there is not a lot of moves that can work in the air from this fruit. Other than that, if you are looking for a fruit that makes you PvP with ease, the Ice Fruit is your go-to. Our number to pick will be the Portal Fruit. Now, I will be real with you guys, I don't like this fruit, mostly because I've seen a lot of hackers with it, and it seriously annoys me. This fruit is already brain dead as it is, why hack with it? Anyways, I'll give this fruit its respect, as I actually consider it better than ice in this list. The portal fruit is mostly spammable. You have the parallel escape, which can be very annoying to opponents, as you can basically escape their combos anytime. It even has its own dimension, which in my opinion, is an unfair advantage for players using this fruit. This move is considered the most annoying move in the game, and when paired with the Ghoul Race, you become the most irritating person on the map, because once your V4 is active, you basically have no cooldowns anymore. I made a video about getting the Ghoul Race, check it out if you want to know how to get it. And finally, we've made it to the end of our list. So the fruit I consider to be the best for PvP in Blocks Fruits is the Rumble Fruit. This fruit is basically the best for everything. It has stuns, mobility and massive damage, and you know how I said the Doe Fruit is given. Well this fruit is given given. The only thing is that it doesn't have as much stuns as the Ice Fruit, but in the long run, that actually doesn't matter. It has good mobility and its F move is considered one of the best escape moves for players in PvP battles. And don't let me start with the damage, it goes crazy. Its V move has the second biggest AoE in the entire game, second only to Quake, and that's saying something, because Quake's C move has the range of an entire island. This fruit is truly the best fruit in the game for PvP. You can't go wrong with it. Now, I don't know about the Dragon Fruit, and its new rework coming, but I hear it's gonna be overpowered, and the leaks shown are pretty pulling up to that level of power. I can't really say much about it for now, we will have to wait and see. So, there you have it. These are the fruits that I think are the best fruits for PvP in Blocks Fruits. Comment below on which fruits you think are the best, and I'll check them out. Alright, so like and sub if you haven't. And speaking of best fruits, if you are looking for a way to get the most valued fruit in the game right now, check out this video right here.